Hey, what's up everybody? The other night, I was in bed, unable to fall asleep after a long day of looking at the analytics for my dying channel. I realized that what I needed was a piece of viral content, something to carry me other than Rush E and Unravel, something that would be a big hit with the kids. But that just made me more stressed because I was completely out of ideas. I've already given my mind, body, and sanity to creating music content that didn't work. Should I start telling the 93% of my unsubscribed viewers to start subbing in hopes of boosting my numbers when less than 5% of my current subs even bother to watch my videos? Really? Should I sell out and pivot into trending gaming content because that gets more views than high effort piano videos? As I was on the verge of meltdown, I suddenly remembered something. Half a year ago, when I was actually motivated to make videos, I shot a bunch of videos that actually checked off the boxes for virality. Popular classical piece? Check. Clickable premise and title? Check. A little more risque than usual? Check. Never mind that I made it to make a point about consistently practicing even when you don't want to. just play through, but actually focus- I played Winter Wind every day once a day for a month straight. Well, almost. It wasn't straight, but I did play it 30 times in two months, as fast as I could each time, without stopping to fix mistakes. And yeah, I figured that a video of me just playing would be kind of boring, and people would either just skip to the end to see what happened, or click off halfway through. So I made this intro as though I was going to narrate through the whole thing to make it interesting, but then I realized that that would be kind of hard. So yeah, here's the edited video now. On day one, I started with the first two measures. Then on day two, sporting a fresh cut, but still with no riz, I was able to move through the first two measures with a little bit more confidence. Day three, for the first time, I felt comfortable enough to move on to measures 3 and 4. Just kidding. I played through the whole thing every day. But since I've edited the video so that you basically hear me play through Winter Wind three times, I'll just keep my playing notes and anything else interesting that happened as subtitles on screen. So if you feel like reading or seeing what quirky things might have happened that influenced my playing, feel free. But no guarantees that I'll put that many subtitles on because I don't like subtitling videos anyways. Which is why I stopped doing practice vlogs. Just saying. So yeah, here's Winter Wind three times. Played very interestingly. Thank you.
And so even at this point, being just a little bit over two weeks into the challenge, I could tell that I wasn't going to get much better. Sure, you'll hear me be able to play with more speed later, but it never gets solid. It always feels shaky and unconfident. And overall, it was really hard to develop the musicality and the technicality I needed to be able to play the piece well, especially since I couldn't drill any of the hard parts.
now because I need to make money. The last run through Winter Wind will be available only to my patrons on Patreon. Just kidding. There's nothing on my Patreon anyways, which is why I have no patrons, except for my mom. Thanks, mom.
hand, so that's Winter Wind in 30 days. It was pretty cool to see how much progress I was able to make in only a month of practicing like this, even though there was a pretty hard plateau. Oh, and before you ask if I've still been playing this, no, I haven't. Thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.